Hey, what's up? John from VideoFort.com bringing you a new After Effects tutorial. This one is following up our motion fire plate tutorial. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to use the plates you created in motion to uh, create some explosions in your scene. So we're back to the hoodlum again. He's smoking a cigarette. And now uh, he's even upped his game to uh, some terrorist activities by blowing up streetlights. So uh, we got this cool little explosion up here, and then it turns into flames and fire afterwards. And uh, I'll show you guys how to create that today. So uh, let's check it out. So first off, we're going to go up to, well, actually, we're just going to grab our piece of footage. So we've got our piece of footage here, and we're just going to drag it down to the new comp. Boom, that gives us a new comp with the same settings as our piece of footage. Now from here, we're going to need to track our footage. So how do we do that? We're going to find a point with high contrast. The point I found was this really nice bright light here. It's uh, in the shot, in view, in the shot the uh, whole time. And uh, it's very high contrast and something easy for the computer to track. So we'll make sure that we're at the beginning of our comp and we'll go up to animation, track motion. And that's going to bring us into the layer window and give us our tracker controls over here. Now we only need to track position. So let's go ahead and make our box a little larger. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this up right over our light. Get that about centered. And I'm gonna make this box about the size of the light and I don't want this bounding box to be much bigger than the glow there, okay? And with that all set, I'll just go ahead and track our motion forward. And that's looking like a very clean track. Now remember, if your track slips and this point goes all the way across the screen or it's jumping around a lot, you're going to want to redo that tracking. You want a nice smooth track movement for this, otherwise it's uh, going to be jumping your effect around when you uh, apply that later on. So, looks like that is pretty much complete. Looks like a nice clean track. Now, something that we also need to do is go up to Layer, New, null object and that's going to add a null object to the composition and over in our tracker controls we're going to edit target and we're going to make sure that it's set to that null layer that we just added so we'll say ok and then we're going to apply the tracking points to the x and y dimensions so we'll say ok and that's going to give our null object the same tracking points as the light there so if we scrub through we can see our null object follows the same motion path as that light super duper cool. From here we're gonna grab our effects so I've got an explode effect that just kinda does this cool little explosion here if I scrub through it you can see oh yeah wow boom so realistic and uh, if we just grab that and drop it into our comp that'll give us this here and I'm gonna position it right on top of that light if you guys wanna position it somewhere else or if you guys are working with a different piece of footage find out where you want that explosion to occur and place it there. And from there I'm going to parent this to the null object. So I just made the explode layer a child of the null object. And now if I scrub through we can see that our explosion stays on the street light and uh, doesn't go away. So that's exactly what we want. Let's time this out a little bit. I'm gonna make it so that when he exhales the smoke this is gonna explode. So. I'll just kind of move forward in time until I see him exhaling the smoke a little bit. There's the smoke. I'm going to select the explode layer and I'm going to press the left bracket button on my keyboard and that'll move the uh, timing for me so I don't have to you know, drag this over manually. And now you'll see if we scrub through the explosion occurs right there. Boom. And it continues on. Something else I'm going to do is set some opacity levels for the explode. So if I press uh, T on the keyboard with explode selected, I'll go ahead and hit opacity there, set a first keyframe and bring it down to 0%. Then I'm just going to move forward maybe 8 frames or so, bring it up to 100. And now that'll kind of ease that explosion in a little bit. And then I'm also going to have it fade off right about uh, here. So I'll set another keyframe at 100% and move forward about 8 frames or so and bring it down to zero. So now what I want to do 
is add in a little bit of fire so that this stays on fire after the explosion. So I created this one in motion. And if you guys uh, don't know how to create these in motion, check out the tutorial that I just created on how to make fire plates with motion. It's pretty sweet, cool, and convenient so that you don't have to go out and purchase a bunch of explosion plates. You can just kind of make them on your own, which is really sweet. I'm just going to drag that down into here. Now we've got our fire. Same thing, we're going to, going to parent this to our null object so that it has the same motion paths. And then I'm going to set it right on top of our light. And then I'm going to go to just after our explosion, so probably about here. And I'm going to press the left bracket on the keyboard. And I'm going to bring the fire underneath the explosion layer. And if I press U with explode selected, I can see our opacity keyframes. And I'm going to set this here. So there we go. Let's go ahead and play this back and see how it looks. explodes and stays on fire. Sweet. Super duper fancy work there. So now you guys know how to track a shot and add in some special effects like explosions. Remember you're not limited to only doing explosions when tracking. Let's uh, say you've made some other cool uh, special effects using motion and you want to incorporate them into After Effects. You know, you just track the shot and throw them in there. Make sure you parent them to the null object that you've created and, you know, it should be good. You might need to do some masking. Let's say we want, like, this light to explode. Uh, I can just duplicate that fire layer. And then with it selected, oops, I can actually move it over to here now. And, you know, you can get multiple explosions going on. Now that light's exploding, so, you know, lots of uh, interesting things that we can do. Check it out, guys, and uh, show us how you're doing it. Leave comments below to the videos that you've been creating using these effects, and go over to videofort.com to make some other really awesome videos of your own using these effects. And uh, hit subscribe, that way you can stay up to date on all of our tutorials that we've been putting out for you. We like keeping you up to date as much as possible, so you can keep learning and using these computers to the best of your abilities. Otherwise, make sure to have a great day, or not. The choice is yours. Later, guys. Videofort.com Oh, my God.